Hey guys, this is Dan from iPadDrillBreak.com. Um, I have my multitasking gestures enabled, as you can see here on my iPad. This has got the iOS 7 Beta 2 version on it. Um, it and if you can swipe between the apps just like you could in the past to uh, switch between the different apps. I've had a little trouble getting that to work, especially the uh, four fingers up to get to bring it multitasking. Now this is the multitasking that is very similar to what's on iOS 7 on the iPhone that was out last couple weeks and this is pretty close to what uh, OXO is a uh, jailbreak tweak that's on the iPad that just came out about a month ago or three weeks ago. Um, it's kind of the same thing but it, the cards are a little smaller and they're on the bottom third of the iPad instead of the full screen like this. Um, so this is the multitasking. The same goes you can swipe up to get rid of an app and you just as you can see one, two, three, four, five almost. You can select this app here. It looks like um, so if I bring four fingers swipe up, it just brings you right back to that. Or you can double tap the home button. Um, so again, just swipe up to get rid of an app. You'd make sure you wait a second on it and grab it and hesitate, and then you can uh, close out apps that way. So uh, it's a little bit. It doesn't quite seem as intuitive to to do the four finger swipe up because usually it just come up a little bit instead of wiping out your whole screen, but I have trouble getting it to, to actually function. I, I mean, I have all four fingers down off the screen, and I'm trying to do it, and I can't get it to work. Same thing with the, the sideways swipe. Sometimes it just doesn't work. So, But anyway, um, hopefully they'll get those bugs worked out, because um, I did enjoy using the multitasking gestures. So double tap the home button, bring up your multitasking. Uh, this is probably one of the better features uh, on the iPhone 5 for the for the multitasking, um, a lot better you know, improvement, uh, a little bit more, you know, you a screenshot of what's going on. Um, all the screenshots were in landscape. Um, I've been running my iPad in landscape for a little while now. Um, if I turn it, the, the, uh, it does not change all of the screenshots, as you can see. The settings app and all these other apps have not been in this mode. If I head here and allow it to rotate into this configuration and then double tap it again now I have this screenshot of that app so to get the portrait uh, either have to have been in portrait mode for it to capture a screenshot if you're multitasking or you have to head out of it and and, and get that kind of one too as well so but anyway this is one of the better I mean it's a little bit buggy still trying to rotate between landscape and portrait mode but uh, overall it's pretty nice just like on the iPhone, it's a lot bigger. Um, you can see everything that's, you know, you can almost see what's going on in the app. If you're referencing somebody's phone number or something here, you could go back to here and type it in, and you can come back out here and look at it, and you can actually read some of the stuff that's in here. So, um, Other than that, I can't think of anything else. Uh, just be sure to drop a comment if you have any questions or anything like that regarding the uh, multitasking, gest or multitasking and the gestures for the iPad in iOS 7 beta. Thanks, guys.